don't want people to think I'm picking on particular particular companies on this one. I have a couple of them today. This is going to be the second one I'm going to upload. Um, this one is Digimark on November 11th or November 7th, 2014 to Google. And what's interesting though, and this is what is also kind of amusing, is that it's not just a RIA, an MPA or anyone else. It seems to be a real trend. And that sometimes you just throw a description up, but then you don't uh, know original URLs, no allegedly infringing URLs. Then you kind of end up with these really interesting um, DMCA notices where you kind of sort of not really paying attention to what's going on here. And again, this seems to be a real big thing, right? So we've got a bunch of stuff, no original URLs. We've got a bunch of dead sites here that none of these sites actually really actually work anymore, which is kind of interesting you know well it looks like the average life cycle of a torrent website after looking at all these records is about three years all right so now we're getting into the point now where in 2014 is three years ago um, and we're starting to get that feel for some of the sites are up some of the sites are down and all the rest of it again there's nothing to do here for harper collins for digimark when you're sending a dmca notice uh, with no allegedly infringing URL. So I'm not too sure what they really kind of want to do with this or where they really want to go. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty darn positive you could find this book just about anywhere. Um, Journey to One Thing, book one. So again, it just seems kind of interesting and you want to go through all these records. And the interesting part though is again, Google will act on these, um, but there's nothing to act on here. So there's no allegedly infringing, so there's nothing to act on, there's nothing to delist. And that makes this interesting, right? Because, you know, we're three years later, I can still find this book on the, on the internet and in other locations without having to really go into the dark. I don't have to go to BitTorrent. And I don't have to go to Tor. I just find this in, in Google or I find this in some other site. And that's what makes this all the more interesting. Three years later, um, yeah, this really hasn't done much for HarperCollins. And for this book, there's nothing to do here. And I'm seeing this as a continual trend across the board. And there's nothing to do here. And one of the things I find interesting, let me just haul this little piece of, of data over here. Um, in my standout sites, one of the things we're looking for, we're kind of collecting all the big sites and all the rest of it, except for the Pirate Bay. We're kind of taking a look at that because that's what I'm working on right now. Is that if you take a look at the non-compliant by records by, the, by these two columns here, almost 76% um, percent of all the records that I reviewed are non-compliant. They either have no original URLs, the dates are wrong, there's no allegedly infringing URLs or anything else. Non-compliant by Google, by the number of records that Google had on 819, right, was 50, was five, oh goodness, that's a huge number. So 5.9 million, more like six today. If you take a look at that non-compliant by Google, about 43.99%, which is way over what, what Urban and Quilter were finding and what Seng was finding. And these are the people that have gone before me. And these are the people that I'm kind of building upon, Urban and Quilter and Seng. So interesting, as you kind of go through this, um, where do you go with it? How do you do this? Where do you run with it? And all the rest of it. And that the non-compliant rates just keep on creeping up and that's either because of one thing or another, it's because of no original URL, it seems to be the big one. That's the big one, there's no way to assert or attest to uh, where these actually came from. You know, does HarperCollins really have Earth to Hell, Journey to One Day, book one? I don't know. An automated machine isn't gonna know, it's just gonna take a look at it and go, there it is. So again, just kind of interesting, right? And as you kind of dig through these, we're kind of finding out that this, these trends keep on going as you go through all the way in terms of how the process works and where the process is actually going or where it's actually been. So just uh, kind of today's interesting video, um, Digimark HarperCollins, November 7th, 2014, um, no allegedly infringing URLs, nothing to do here. And again, this seems to be a real common thing among, uh, among the, the, the Lumen records that I've looked at today. Thanks much, take it easy.